my name is Valerie. Today I have an awesome book that I that is the sequel to one of my favorite books that I have read and that I've reviewed on this channel. And this is a great sequel, an amazing book. Read with Val. Read on, have fun, and dream big. This book is called The Great Peach Experiment, The Peach Pit. And it is by Erin Soderberg Downing. And this book is a realistic fiction book and I would rate this book a 10 out of 10. So in this book, uh, we have three main characters, Freddie, Herb, and uh, Lucy. And in order, oldest to youngest, it's Lucy, Freddie, Herb. And they are siblings and they live with their dad. Their mom died when they were young. And yeah, it's been really hard for them. The first book is The Great Peach Experiment. When life gives you lemons, you make peach pie. And that book is such an amazing book. It's um, just a small, like one or two sentences. It's about their, the family buying this food truck and making peach pie and making a living out of making peach pie. And when they come back from their whole like spaz like journey um, of making peach pie, they come back and their great aunt Lucinda, who they love, she lives in this mansion here, very old historic, run down I guess but um they have a lot of family history inside that mansion and great aunt Lucinda asked the peaches because their last name is peach to um to basically turn this place into a bed and breakfast and live in there because great aunt Lucinda wants to um live in a senior community center and the peaches are very they are surprised but they accept it they like think about it and eventually they accept it the offer and they get to work with a budget turning this pit i guess into something amazing they try to make it something amazing and they have way harder like with a budget they can't really they have so many problems with this house because it's so old like pipes need to be fixed windows need to be fixed um like walls need to be fixed um they need to make it look nice um so they have to have like new bedding everything is so hard for them and they want to give up but they don't and it's about their journey of making this run down place a bread and back breakfast and learning teaching themselves that they can persevere now this book is so amazing my favorite character is herb herb is the youngest he is eight and the oldest is um 12 but I love her because he's the youngest. People think he can't really do anything. He's not responsible because of his age. He's so mature and so responsible. And he has all these amazing ideas. And I love reading about him because he is adorable. But he can like, you know, he can, he can really pack a punch and prove to people that age doesn't really matter. And I love reading about her. I would recommend this book to kids between the ages 8 through 12. And this book is sequel to the When Life Gives You Lemons, You Make Peach Pie. I would recommend you read it first because that's really how like the story goes. And then read the second. Um, but both books are so incredibly amazing. And I love this author's work so much. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this book as much as I did about family and persevering and an amazing story.
So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. I'll see you guys later. Bye!